Thank you for checking out another video. This is a Mike Dags Reviews. I almost said podcast. We are going to be going over some of the movies that are coming up in this year because you know what? As I fungal, fangle, blah, blah, blah. Today we're going to be going over some of the movies that are coming out this year. I feel like March is finally the time when all the good movies start coming out. And I figure, you know what? The best thing to do is just to put down a list, talk about some of the movies upcoming, let you guys copy it if you want, because personally, I like to keep a list of all the good movies that are coming out for this year, because, well, I'm a movie head. And I know that some of you guys might want that too, without having to scroll through, and you can just keep it in your phone and look and go, what movies, when's this coming out? When's this coming out? <laughs> Thanks to Mike Daggs and his video, and the picture that I stole from him, I know. It's fine. You can screenshot it, you can take it, I'll post the picture down in the comments. So, without further ado, let's get into the movies coming out. First off, ending March, because like I said, Captain Marvel just came out last week. Dumbo comes out the end of this week, the end of next week, March 29th. I have the date right in front of me, and I didn't look. March 29th is Dumbo. I got to be honest. I did not see this movie, <laughs> the original. I didn't even see the original, like, Disney, like, animated film, animated version of this film. I didn't see it. I kind of have never been interested in it. It's one of those, like, a few years ago, I was watching all the Disney movies, and I was like, you know what? I've never seen Dumbo, and I was going to watch it, and then I decided... Nah, bro. Starting off in April is Shazam. Now, this, <laughs> the DC universe is in trouble, to say the least. They don't have a Batman or a Superman right now. Um, what? <laughs> to say that that's a problem would be an understatement. But Shazam, kind of, I think this movie could help it out. This looks funny. Uh, it looks like it's going to be good. So, I don't know. Uh, April 5th, though. Then, also, I've been hearing good rumors about this one, Pet Cemetery. It's a reboot or a rehashing? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, because I don't think Spielberg's got anything to do with it. So, this just seems like they're re, you know, they might have bought the rights or something to it, but I don't know. I'm not a big horror fan. If you know, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know that I'm not a horror fan, but I'm going to give it a try because it looks, it looks all right. Um... Later on, halfway through April, about a month from now, we get Hellboy, which is like the revamp of this movie, too. I wasn't high on the first one. Uh, the original one, or the like, whatever it was a few years ago with... Um, why do I space names when it comes to recording? Ron Perlman. <laughs> Ron Perlman was the first one <laughs> in the first one. Sorry, I am exhausted. Uh, I've been up since four this morning. Hellboy, I'm not sure. This one looks all right. I, I'm, it's, this series has never really intrigued me, but who knows? Never, ever, ever know. That's why we're going through this quick list just to see what's going on. Then ending out the month with Avengers Endgame, which is probably the most anticipated movie of the year. Yeah, I'd say the most anticipated movie of the year, which is wild to think that in a year that has a Star Wars coming out, that that's not generating any hype right now. It's kind of nerve wracking, but whatever. Anyway, there's not much to say about Avengers Endgame. I mean, if you don't, if you have no interest in seeing it, then you don't. <laughs> if you do, you already know what's going on. You already know. You already know. You can't wait for it. John Wick Chapter Three. I don't like John Wick, the John Wick series as much as some people do. I understand the like for it. It's got a lot of action. Um, Keanu Reeves is fucking. He's cool. He's awesome. Um, and I enjoy these movies. I think they're all right. But I, that being said, I don't think I like them as much as some people do. Some people really love them. I think I, I had a kill counter on the on John Wick Chapter Two. And <laughs> I think at one point he killed like 40 people in like 20 minutes. And I was like, all right, <laughs> all right. I mean, it's, it's badass. The action's cool. The story kind of feels like it's stolen from several other movies like Smoking Aces, Lucky Number Eleven. It just, it feels like the story's not that original. Um, the first one did, the second one, not so much. The third one, I, I don't know, I guess he's being hunted. All right, second up. On the list of Disney live action remakes is Aladdin. And I don't think anybody actually like some of the, some of Disney <laughs> Disney's just getting real, real, real lazy to a point. They're putting in a lot of work to these live action movies. I get I bet I you know, I can tell that these the CGI is incredible in them, but it's almost like you're they're barely doing anything. They're like, you know what? Let's just start doing all the movies that everyone loves in live action. You just double up on our profits. I like the Jungle Book. Beauty and the Beast was all right. Um, Will Smith, anytime there's like a beloved actor like Robin Williams getting a reprise role, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for this one. 
And the reaction to him as a genie at first wasn't great. X-Men Dark Phoenix, the X-Men movies have just been completely trending down. <laughs> they have just, first class was great. And then from there on, they just have gotten bad with an all-time low being Apocalypse. Apocalypse might be on par with the third X-Men movie, X-Men Last Stand or whatever, which was not great. And neither was Apocalypse. Very forgettable. <sighs> Let's see. This one looks a lot better. But I hated the Dark Phoenix as a as a as con, as like the cartoons. If anybody watched those cartoons back in the day, I hated that saga because it went on forever and it was just the most boring loves. It was like a love story. Like the bottom line, it was like a love story. So I don't know. I'm gonna see it because let's face it, all these movies I'm rattling off, I'm gonna see. But ugh, man, and then we got Men in Black start kicking off June. Um, I didn't know that they were coming out with more Men in Black movies, but. That's never a bad thing. Toy Story 4, another movie. Some of these movies I feel like I'm I'm hyped to see. These are these don't look bad, but who asked for another who asked for another Toy Story? Like I I didn't no one asked for this. I'm down, but we had it with Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3 happened. We all cried as adults in the theater. Now it's like you and then Tom Hanks is sitting there saying like he he choked up during the script. What why you do this? Stop. Stop doing stop doing that. We do, I don't need to cry in the theater next to a bunch of five year olds who aren't gonna care about this story like I do. Like I I grew up watching this and that I already cried like four years ago. Stop. Stop making grown men cry. Child's Play is being rebooted. Um this is another movie that made me cry when I was younger for different reasons. And now it's just so on June twenty first, I can just go cry. Like I can just go cry at the movies. Maybe I'll go to the drive ins and just see double feature and just cry <laughs> what the hell man these movies are pissing me off uh this is actually probably a sneaky really i'm really excited for this one yesterday it's a uh, struggling musician realizes he's the only person on earth who remembers the beatles and he just sings their songs if you watch the trailer go check it out it looks pretty awesome hopefully it's like oh james corden's in it though i kind of just lost interest i'm still gonna check it out but now <laughs> i just got so upset reading that he's in it July, we go into the summer with Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, questions will all be answered from Avengers Endgame. I knew you were, they weren't. They, they Spoiler alert, killed Spider-Man in the last Avengers. I'm sure he's going to be back or something. It'll all be explained. Uh, obviously, then we're just going to kill off Tom Holland after one movie, especially since he signed on for like five of them. Um, Samuel Jackson, Tom Holland, and Jake Gyllenhaal. I mean, that's, yeah. In, <laughs> in comic book movies, in. Also in July is the Lion King live action. Uh, again, Disney just reviving all these old movies. I mean, it's they're gonna do Snow White. They're gonna do all the old movies, I guess. So here we are. Um, but John Favreau is directing it, and I'm actually pretty pumped about it. The the cast is just amazing. Uh, it's probably one of the best casts in a movie. Um, in a, like an animated live action. Because it's not live action. It's not real lions. If it was real lions, I'd be really impressed. It's my actual reaction to seeing the next one. Let's Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. I watched the previews for this one in the theaters. I'm tripping on my mic cord. I watched the previews for this in the theaters. And man, it just looks stupid and dumb and just woof. But let's get it. <laughs> just let's go. I'm waiting for that franchise to just take them to space. Where is it? <laughs> September brings It Chapter 2 and Rambo. Last Blood. Um, again, some of these movies just need to go away. Just stop with these movies. The it is fine. I kind of like the new one. I know a lot of people liked it a lot. I could, you know, it could exist or not exist to me. But Jesus, man, Rambo. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> just let that series die. Stallone's like 70. Isn't he 70? He's 72. 70 stop <laughs> stop dude just stop october crushes things with the joker which <sighs> i don't know we'll see zombie land 2 which i'm pumped i'll speed up these last ones because i know we're getting up to the time i don't want to bore you guys too much with all the rest of them but Tor terminator dark fate kind of passed but arnold schwarzenegger's in it again linda hamilton's back in it i don't know uh charlie's angels a reboot that's got naomi scott dijon hounsu Hounsu, I like him, I can't pronounce his name, Elizabeth Banks and Kristen Stewart, okay, alright, I don't know, why not, Sonic the Hedgehog, question mark, 
Kingsman, I did like the first one. I never saw the second one, admittedly. And uh, Frozen 2, another movie that, God, I hope they don't make a, a song that just gets stuck in everybody's head for three years because we just got over Let It Go. Just please, just don't do it again to us. Sequel to Jumanji, which again, admittedly, I did not see. And then Star Wars Episode Nine, where it still hasn't been announced what the title is for that. So that ends out the year of 2019 as these movies, movies will be announced. I know one was just announced the other day and my brain's fried. I can't remember what it was, but it sounded pretty good. I know that doesn't help you watching this video, but as the year goes on, uh, some movies will get canceled. Uh, some movies will get added. So uh, check back here. Like always, you know, I'll probably start. I'm going to start posting when these movies are coming out and trailers and stuff like that. And I hope you guys will come back and check out my reviews for them. Because after all, I am a reviews page. And this year, I want to get through the entire list for the first time. Every year, <laughs> I go strong and hard until about June, July. And then I just start cherry picking ones I really want to see. Because it gets it just gets overwhelming. But this year, I'm on a new mission Got a whole bunch of new things. If you haven't seen before, I direct and produce several podcasts now about science, murder, sports, and I think you guys will enjoy all of them. There's, I got something for everybody on the pages that I run. So Teach Our Science, Waterways Assassin, and Game Time Chatter. Go check out all those podcasts. The links will be in the description to all of them. Like those pages because it's Facebook. Just toss out that free like. It shows your support. Just like if you like this video, comment down below what you're most uh, what you're most looking forward to watching this year. I know there's plenty of good movies coming out uh, between Star Wars and Avengers and Spider Man. Some good horror movies coming coming out. I feel like horror movies are making a triumphant return to the cinemas. I hope you like these movies. I hope you come back and we'll check out my review for every single one of them. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, sweet coffee. The lifeblood. <coughs> I almost said <coughs> I almost thought it said start recording. And I would have been pissed. That would have sucked if I wasn't recording that entire time. Woo!